What do you do in a three-bedroom home when you grow into a five-bedroom family? I know a man who faced this very dilemma. His family had outgrown the small house he and his wife lived in. Moving wasn't an answer, and staying together went without question. But they weren't worried. They had a plan for expansion. The house listed three bedrooms, but hidden behind a small crawlspace door attached to the back of the house was a surprise. It led into a huge unfinished section of basement that could more than double their sleeping quarters. From the outside, you wouldn't even know it existed. The man had once been a carpenter, so he knew how to prepare that area into extra living space when needed. And that's exactly what he did. It took some time and some blood, sweat, and tears, but in the end, there was plenty of room for everyone in the family. After the crawl space door was relocated inside the house, it provided a way of access between the new section and the rest of the home. This story reminded me of another carpenter whose father sent him to make preparations to expand the family. His name is Jesus. Only he wasn't just adding a few rooms to a house. He was preparing a way for everyone to live with his father. Have you ever been told that you need to make room for God in your life? That may sound like a daunting task considering how big God is, but Jesus has another word for you. He wants you to know that his father makes room for you. The Apostle John wrote down Jesus' words that tell us just that. There is plenty of room for you in my father's home. If that weren't so, would I have told you that I am on my way to get a room ready for you? And if I'm on my way to get your room ready, I'll come back and get you so you can live where I live. Jesus' Father does not intend to live without you. It took Jesus plenty of blood, sweat, and tears. But you can rest assured knowing that the Father's house has a room prepared just for you. I'm Jeff Broadnax, Speaking of Life. Thanks for watching this episode of Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to connect with you. Here are a couple of ways. Subscribe to our newsletter, GCI Update, and like us on Facebook. And if you'd like more resources from GCI, check out our website. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.